couple of days ago, I came up with a question that I couldn't answer, and that was, how much gasoline do you use when you idle your engine? It is a particularly important question because living up here in New England, we get some really brutal winter weather. We can get down to minus 15 degrees Fahrenheit at night, and we get a lot of snow. And typically what you'll do in order to compensate for that is you'll either use a remote start in a car or you'll run outside, get the engine started and go inside and finish some sort of a project, watch a YouTube video, and then go out to your car and drive away. But I didn't, re didn't really know how much gasoline is used. And with the rapid increase in gasoline prices recently, I think it's an important question. So what we decided to do is a little bit of a test. We've put together a variety of different types of cars. And what we're going to do is we're going to take each one of the, the automobiles. We're going to use a pump here at this gas station and we're going to top off each one of the tanks. Then we're going to set them aside and we're going to let them idle for two full hours. Bring them back to exactly the same pump and using the the auto shutoff on the pump as a very reliable way of determining when you've filled up your tank, determine how much gasoline is used by the different types of engines. So we can see whether or not it's just a little bit, it doesn't matter much, or it's surprisingly a lot of fuel. Let's get going. hours later. And until it clicks. Huh. Okay, not much, what? A dollar okay. fifty-three. Yeah, for two hours. For two hours. <laughs> That's pretty good. Huh. Could be worse. One point one seven, so more than double actually, than her Mazda. So, yeah. yeah. 
It makes sense though, it's a V8, kind of makes sense. What are you guys checking the mileage? Make sure you get the right amount of gas. Yeah, yeah, we're actually well, doing sort a of. YouTube video about how much gas is used by uh, idling. So we oh. did four different cars, two hours of idling, and uh, we're refilling, topping off to see what basically is the gas consumption. Yeah. Check it out, tech ingredients. That's what you call it, ingredients? Tech ingredients, tech like as in technology, tech yeah. ingredients. We're going to probably put it up on Sunday. So I do with your car in the morning for a half hour it's cold, it probably costs 30, 40 cents. Well, uh, two hours in this car is uh, three dollars. Eight four two gallons. Yeah. So you can see the results are kind of interesting and you might have predicted them. Uh, the amount of gasoline used is pretty small. We ran the engines at their stock idle for two hours exactly. And the largest displacement engine, the 4.7 liter Ford, used about twice as much gas as the smaller 2.3 and 2.4 liter engines in the, uh, in the Mustang and the Subaru. And the least uh, displacement or the least gasoline was used by the Mazda. But what's interesting is in these smaller two to three liter engines, you use about half a gallon of gasoline over two hours. So if you're going to warm up your tank, your car in the morning and you leave it run for 20 minutes or so, you're not using very much gasoline. So I wouldn't recommend it in terms of environmental concerns and obviously money is money but it's not a huge amount of money that you're going to be spending just to warm up your car, melt off some snow in order to start your day's work. So thanks very much for watching. I know it was a short video, but kind of an interesting turn and something that I've always been wondering about. If you have any questions or you want to make any comments, put them in the comments section below, because as I always say, I read them all and I try to answer as many questions as possible. And if you like the kind of content, please subscribe because that's the one thing that you can do that helps us out the most. In any case, you have a nice evening, drive safe, and take care. Good night.